Decoding Be Over, a dive into English phrases. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the English phrase, be over. If you've ever wondered how to use it or what it really means, then stick around, this video is for you. Be over, is a phrase that typically means something has ended or finished. For example, the movie is over, the meeting is over, summer is over. In each of these examples, the event or time period has come to an end. When referring to relationships, be over can mean that a romantic relationship has ended. For instance, it's best for us to move on, we are over. I can't believe they are over after five years. This usage might be commonly heard in conversations or even popular music. The phrase, be over, can also describe someone's location, specifically when they are at someone else's house or place. For instance, John is over at Sarah's house. Can I come over? In this context, be over, is more casual and is often used in everyday conversation. It's important to note that, be over, is different from the word, overdue. While, be over, refers to an end or location, overdue, means to do something excessively. For example, I think I overdid it at the gym today. Don't overdo the salt in the soup. So, remember not to mix up these two. And that wraps up our deep dive into the phrase, be over. Remember, whether it's about something ending, a relationship concluding, or referring to a location, be over is a versatile phrase to understand and use. We hope this video has clarified its meaning for you. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English.